so here we have the file so you just extract the file very easy so firstly you check here so this is the other file so I'm gonna you have to install the system before you install the system you have to turn on the machine you turn on the machine so the system is like detecting the machine so this is my computer this is the administration so you go this device management so you see here this is the laser machine so the first one is like updating this is browse the files in your computer and I have the computer on let me check I have the computer this is the this is my yeah this is the file I think this is the file because I have yeah here is the file and you check this is not a C5 file so you check here this is the uh, JCZ driver the support 64 you check here this is where you're supposed to click then next it's already installed it's already installed now we go to the file this is the same file and you check here this is the easy cut so here is the okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter cannot open correct file don't worry about it so where is it here F3 because you need to find out this is calibration this file important just find this file and open it confirm so then you just uh, turn off and turn it on now it's okay language so you want to have English so let me check where is the language where is the language here here's language okay I'm gonna do this one more time this file you go to the this is the P you can see here P P so this is here's language you have uh, English Korean Japanese English you go back English turn it off then you open it like turn it on again now you have English okay so if you want to have to see the red uh, not data available and uh, we have the files because I already made this the join for iPhone because the, most of them they want to take off the back cover so I made a file especially for back cover then we have other files this is also for iPhone and I and for Genie for Huawei there are so many different models a lot of people asking me how many we have but we have a lot of them let's say take it about let's take it like an example for this X X Mac okay sorry I have to uh, let's let's close it then you click again now you have it here now you see the So this is Mark. Okay, in next video, uh, because this is very easy. So here, here's the speed and also power. You can change it to frequency. This is very easy. So now the software is already installed. Now it's uh, working. Uh, I mean the software is working. This part is already done. It's already done. So next part you probably need to, uh, it's not only with a screen, I mean the screenshot I, uh, I can explain to you, Captula Capture, I cannot explain to you with this, uh, we need another camera. So for this video is, so we just, we're gonna uh, close it now, we're gonna stop it now, but we can have more videos coming for you guys, okay, thanks for watching, bye. Now I just want to repeat something and also 
introduce you guys something at how to measure the distance. So this is the thing I need to repeat. You have to turn on the machine before you installing the software. So if the machine doesn't turn on, your computer cannot detect I mean the, the machine, so the you cannot install the software. So you need to turn on the machine before the software installation. So this is one thing I just want to repeat. And how to measure the right, the correct distance. As we can see here, our technician has already wrote, like uh, written the distance, the correct distance, because we need to calibrate the machine before we send it out. So this is the correct distance that we need to set for this machine. Here it says 383, what's the meaning? It means this line, here's the line, this line to the surface. If the surface is, for example, if you want to uh, increase it here, so then you need to check. This is 383, three, three, so this is like 6. So I might need to, so here, as we can see here, here, man, you need to adjust a little bit, make it lower, right? Now this is 383, so you use here. You use this like, uh, how do you guys call this, like uh, rotate, rotating like a uh, roller or something. Use this to adjust the distance. If you change the surface, for example, if you want, you have another distance, for example here, you want to increase something here or something very thin, then you, may, you need to make it even, you gotta make it even, okay, lower, make it 383. So now this is the correct distance for the engraving. Okay, I just want to repeat to you guys. So this is the line, this is the surface. So if the surface is higher, you need to make this higher. So different, different uh, the thickness. So when you want to increase different thickness, you need to always adjust the distance. Make sure it is 383 or the number because every machine is different. The machine probably you have a 385 or 345. I, I don't know because every machine before we send out, we need to adjust, we need to calibrate. So this is the number you're gonna have for every each machine. Every each machine has its own distance and its own calibration file. The calibration file, it's already in the pen drive, the USB disk. So just to make sure, um, this is their distance and the file is already in the USB pen drive. I think this is the everything that I just want to um, make sure that you understand and also uh, don't make a mistake on this. And if you have any more questions, you can just let us know or leave a comment or contact the salesman that uh, who sold you the machine. And thanks for watching and bye. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.